Hello, I'm Daniel Lee Perea, and this is Pizza 360. I'd like to introduce our special guest, Tom Feltenstein, joining us via Skype. Tom brings over 30 years of marketing know-how to the table, once serving as senior-level marketing executive at McDonald's, and now consulting for Fortune 500 companies and touring the world speaking on Four Walls branding and neighborhood marketing. Tom, how are you today? I'm doing outrageous! Well, now, of course, we want to take this opportunity to have you introduce the real star of the show, Sophie. My little Sophie is a King Charles. She's just a, a wonderful sidekick, and uh, I'll tell you what's interesting. When I go into a meeting and Sophie's with me or traveling or whatever, it just kind of creates a different atmosphere. It just melts everybody. All right, let's jump in with the question. What's the number one responsibility of a manager of a pizzeria? You know, that's a great question because every time I ask a manager or a franchisee, they never get it. And the number one answer in running your restaurant is recruiting. You see, business is no different than sports. The teams with the best players win. The issue is no one's really been trained on how to recruit great talent. And generally speaking, and I talk a lot about turkeys and eagles, I would suspect that 60, 70% of the staff in the pizzerias are probably turkeys. They probably shouldn't be there. And where I find the best talent is from my current eagles who are already working for me. Now, how do you know they're eagles? You sit down with your staff and you take a sheet of paper and you draw a line down the middle of it and you have a discussion about the char characteristics of a turkey and an eagle. And your staff is going to come up with what those attributes are. And you don't even have to come up with it yourself. They're going to tell you. And they know a heck of a lot better than any of us know. You've talked about your staff being your first customers. Talk to us about the idea of the internal customer. Your internal customer is your staff, is your employees. You have external customers, which is your customers. So I've always said if we treated our external customers the way we treat our internal customers, we wouldn't have any customers. Those internal customers have got to be eagles. They've got to be the cream of the crop. And then everyone's griping, why my sales down? It's because you got the wrong people. Now, once hired, how can you better treat eagles to make sure you keep them there? You want to nurture that first day, that relationship. You want to send dinner home for their whole family. You want to take care of them in every way. That first day that they start, they should have their own personal business card with their title on it. Build their self-esteem. Make them feel important. Because look, they're scared that first day. Create that bond, that relationship, that human caring, that love, that compassion. And don't ever stop doing it. For someone who's unfamiliar with your work, can you talk a little bit about what Four Walls Marketing is? Four Walls is your direct mail. Four Walls is your radio. Four Walls is your billboard. Everything happens in your four walls, not up in the sky. If you get a thousand people a week coming inside your four walls and you treat them and take care of them phenomenally, make sure your restaurant is clean, your food is great, and you got a winning formula. You talk about the four walls inside of a restaurant. Are there any other four walls you want to talk about? Many pizza operations deliver. That really is also inside your four walls, inside that car. And so what do we do with the driver? Maybe we should have some motivational tapes that he puts on and he listens as he goes from place to place. Keep him pumped. Keep him excited. Your front line is your bottom line. Now, before you leave us, do you have any final thoughts? The more money that you spend on recruiting and training, the less you need to spend on marketing. You know, I just would encourage everybody to go on my website, you know, and just take a peek at what's there. There's really five cool marketing tools, reports and stuff on there that anyone can download for free and also can sign up for my newsletter, which I don't sell anything. It's just inspirational, goes out twice a month. And there's about 14,000 people now that get it twice a month. And it's just, it inspires you. It kind of lifts you up. Well, Tom, as always, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for watching. Visit PMQ Pizza Magazine on social media or at PMQ.com. 
For Pizza 360, I'm Daniel Lee Perea.